Hey, what's up, my little tattletoes and what's up, Sussex Squad? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Prince Harry, <laughs> the other shoe is about to drop. You guys, what am I talking about? If you guys don't know, Charles is finally ready to pull the trigger, but people are saying he is ready to do it out of desperation. Y'all, Sussex Squad, what am I talking about? If you guys don't know, the British media has been dogging Harry and Meghan out, which again, I don't understand the mindset. You want them to come to the coronation. You need them to come to coronation. You know why I think they need them to come to coronation? One, you need international eyes and ears on Camilla's ascension to be the mistress of the century. You also, and this is why I think uh, Charles is really upset, you also need a straw man. You need somebody that mess around. You need somebody to blame for everything that's wrong. Why is that? Because if you guys don't know, William Kate. And it's been rumored uh, Charles and Camilla have been are literally ridiculed all over London. There are protests going along. Not my king. William talking about well, when I get coronated. To which everybody said, William, coronation, you better hope you're not opening the Tesco's and Kate's not opening the local library, literally. Talking about she loves being in the woods. Give her a job as a park ranger, right? Camilla can be the horsey that gallops through. Anyway, let me get back to the point. Okay, so they need Harry and Meghan there as a foil for all their dastardly but silly plans. Again, if anybody boos Charles and Camilla, if anybody boos the royal family, if the crowd just stands there on some... Y'all hear something? They can blame it on Harry and Meghan. They started releasing a bunch of stories saying if they come, nobody's going to talk to them. People are going to poo-poo them. It's going to be all this stuff. Harry and Meghan was like, we're probably not coming. But just to be even more ignorant, they haven't even answered the invite. Now listen, Harry's British. Now I don't know what it means in the UK, but in America, when you invite someone somewhere and it is less than a month before the event and they are sitting there on silent, baby, that means they're not coming. That means not only are they not coming, but they want you to feel it. They're trying to be ignorant. They want to let you know we will not be attending. There's a reason why RSVPs come and go and people just sit there sitting already. But y'all, they thought this was going to be the Queen's Funeral Part 2. They thought this was going to be the sequel to the trilogy, I guess. Phillips, the Queen, and then Charles Coronation. What do I mean? You guys, here's the thing. I honestly do believe that... Harry and Meghan went to this whole thing, went to the Queen's funeral, Philip's funeral, out of love. That was his grandmama. She was a colonizer. She was one of his biggest problems. Harry, of course, is his family. He's always going to try to take, uh, see the best in them. I think that they really thought that Harry and Meghan were coming to the funerals, not because they cared, but because they were clout chasing. I really honestly believe that because can you explain to me how you've been dogging these people out for the past couple of months, letting them know that if they come to the uh, coronation, the funerals were just a warm up, warm up and you expected them to come. You expect them to all that you thought the lore of being close to your power and standing in your glow was so much they were going to do it. Yeah, I know. That's what Megan and Harry said the same thing to, or at least Megan, because she's American. I know she's like, you didn't get the RSVP, sweetie, because we're not coming. Well, guess what? Charles is so desperate. In my opinion, it's all my speculation, but just let me know what you think in the comments respectfully, right? To get Harry and Megan to the coronation so when there's booze the bbc could auto splice booze from when they walk in to when harry and megan walk in right they are now officially threatening with taking away his title the, they're saying prince harry could lose the duke of D sussex title the top secret move being discussed at the highest levels okay now let me just say this right if they remove the king's son's titles, then the monarchy is going to fall. In that case, baby, do it because you know I love. Listen, I definitely like Carrie and Meghan, but I am for the monarchy falling. I think it is ridiculous. Anything beyond merit, actually, even merit, there is no way that anyone, either by blood or even merit, can stand in front of another human and say, I am better than you, you bow down. 
there's just no way if you want to pay them if you want them to be a public servant if you're, fine it can be by merit but this whole thing about elitism you're better than me i don't stand for that harry is the single biggest threat to this system because he dared marry somebody that wasn't lily white i mean it needs to be said if you guys haven't figured it out yet but if they take away harry's titles then why can't we take away the king's titles? Why can't we take away William's titles? Are they not the same bloodline? Do they not? Do, do they understand? And here's the thing that William doesn't bank on. I don't think Charles cares. I think Charles hates. I think he wants the power. I think he wants the position. But I think he hates all the cronies. I think he hates the whole system. I think he hates his family for what happened between him and Diana and the way they kind of left him to the wolves and wouldn't let him sit on the throne until he was like literally old man river, right? And Camilla's, well, Camilla always looked a little horsey, but now she looks like an old aging horse out the pasture. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying those jowls, that, sh that, that literally always allegedly being drunk and those jowls drinking your whole life actually shows up. Anyway, right? If they take away Harry's title, then they can, he is the king's son. They can take away anybody's title. Now, I know they threatened to do it with the Duke of Edinburgh's title. They gave the Sophie, Sophie and Edward, and Edward are so lame. They are the epitome of clout chasers. They, let me just go off on a tangent. They are the epitome of kicking down. William and Kate don't like you. The only reason you're around is because you make them look glamorous. And baby, that's a hard job to do. Charles can't stand them. They literally spent their whole life literally kissing the queen's butt, doing this, doing that, all and kissing Edward, uh, Prince Philip's butt, all to end up with nothing. And like little rats are scurrying around. And they think that if they kick down at Meghan and Harry, they'll be pulled up. They finally got what they worked their whole... Imagine working your whole life for a stupid title. You you know what? I'm not going to... Mm, not, no. I'm not going to talk about people's kids. Imagine your whole life working for a stupid title. And when you finally get it, your daddy promised it to you. Your mama cared more about... Andrew and his Pedialyte beer ways. Yes, we are going to beat the algorithm on this channel. Your mama cared more about Andrew and his Pedialyte ways and left you nothing. Didn't even give you that title before she died. Left you nothing. Nothing. Put it all on Andrew so he could like literally cover up for his mm, Pedialyte beer ways, right? And you finally get the title. And Charles only gave you the title because in my opinion, he used you as a cat's paw. What's the cat's paw? I'll tell you. The Duke of Edinburgh title, they gave it to him. His kids are never gonna get it. It's gonna revert back to the crown. Charles was testing out the space to make Harry's title and Meghan's that when they revert, it goes back to the crown. They're trying to make it more of a European um, royalty thing where yes, there are prince and princesses, okay? Yes, there are many princes and princesses, but at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, only the people that have an official title, the Duke, the Earl, the whatever, are the ones that are going to actually be good. Now, y'all, listen. I guess that threat of waiting day till they turn 90 or 100 to pass away wasn't enough. So now Charles is laying down the rules. Let's get into this. They said he could be stripped of his title as the Duke of Sussex by his own father, according to a new book published by a veteran royal correspondent. Mm. Several bonches have been dropped in Robert Jacobson's upcoming title, King Charles III, our king, the man of monarch. Y'all better get on the winning team. Omed Scooby, something done by the Sussex is doing numbers. Meanwhile, you're literally kissing up King Charles, our king, the man and the monarch. The fact that a grown human being in the 20th century wrote a book that said, our king, the man, and the monarch. <laughs> it's disgusting. The fact that grown people, you really honestly think that somebody's better than you by bloodline. It's disgusting. 
The book claims a number of senior royals discussed a possible move at the highest levels to remove the king's youngest son from his royal position after his move outside of the UK. Now, the king is said not to be in favor, but other senior royals are less indulgent. Ultimately, despite Charles' enduring love for his son, Hookham, under increasing pressure of Harry, continues to attack the monarchy. Is not showing up for your stupid coronation that Camilla plotted for 40 years to get? I do want to say this. You know, these little stories about senior royals, it worked when it was Philip, when it was the queen, when it... Who's these senior royals? Because Charles wants to slim down monarchy. He's taken power away from everybody, except for him. Camilla, William, and Kate. And he's working on William and Kate. So who are these senior royals that want to see Harry shoot for the title? The fact that they're using the same talking points, but you're taking away your cover. The senior royals? Me, you mean William, Kate, you, and Camilla? <laughs> Nay. Anyway, right? Besides Charles enduring love for his son. That's the funny thing. William better wise up because he is going at it with Harry and he keeps humiliating William making him toe the line pledge fealty he even has Kate kissing the rings Kate's not going to get her wish of wearing a tiara they're literally getting their three kids under 10 out there to work all because they made a deal with Charles and Camilla the devil anyway right seriously William you knew how it felt to be out in the public eye too much and now you got your kids out here? Yeah, right now they're young and cute, but you know that media monster can't be controlled. You think when you're king, you're gonna control it? Why, your daddy can't control it. Your new stepmommy can't control it. I'm sorry, your new step queen can't control it. Seriously, what's to stop once they get old enough, them turning Lewis into Harry, George into you, and what's gonna happen to poor um, Charlotte? <laughs> what did they start talking about Charlotte? and her sister from another mister, I'm sorry, her her, uh, her sister from a different mother. What if they start talking about the way Rose Hanbury's kids look just like yours? Her and Charlotte could be sisters. What are you going to do? Again, you think you'll have leverage as king, but your own dad doesn't have leverage and he is king. Anyway, right? Um, I will say at this point, the king would have two options to put up with spreading the stain on his reign or take action to limit his scope. Um, yeah, that really worked, Charles. Because remember another time somebody was testing your popularity and the people loved them and couldn't stand you and you thought by stripping her of her princess title that she would be less popular? And now her ghost hangs over your head when she's in the middle of pulling out the hairs from William's head. Yeah, because that always works, Charles. Because once you strip away someone's titles, they go away. They don't exist anymore, right? Philip was right about that one. Good luck with that, Charles. Um... They explained that the motion would lead the prince and his wife, Meghan Markle, to the title of Mr. and Mrs. Mountain, Mountbatten, Windsor, of Montecito, California. Who's this hurting? I mean, let's be real. Harry grew up in the system. He doesn't actually really want to seem to shatter the system. He just seems like he wants them to apologize and give him respect. But besides Harry, who's this going to hurt Mr. and Mrs. Mountbatten? The only time that would hurt them is if they ever came to London again and tried to go to a royal function and you announced them as Mountbatten Windsor. But otherwise than that, nobody cares because there's nobody calling in America Harry the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I'm just saying. There's still a lot of speculation about whether the Duke and his wife will show up at King Charles' coronation in May. They're not. I hope they don't because at this point... And it's a rock and a hard place, but it's weird to me that they keep leaving them no amount of room. You're giving me the option of come and be humiliated, mocked, and treated like crap. Or don't come and be humiliated, mocked, treated like crap. But at least I can have my peace. It's on my own terms and I'm sitting in my $14 million mansion. Man, if you don't get out of here. Listen, I, I will say this, right? Because this is going on and on and on. Because it needs to be said, I hope to God, Harry, and I hope Meghan keeps him from actually showing up at that coronation. 
And I hope, because there's been talks that like if they could, they'll start being wor- working royals again, maybe in the next three to four years. I hope to God they don't trade that, uh, take that bait. Nobody forgot what Harry did. They hate, in my opinion, they can't stand Harry for that. They already couldn't stand Meghan. The only reason I think that they would draw them close is if they wanted to find a way to destroy everything they built up, leave them penniless, and then continue on with the plan. Again, they've already showed you what they think, where you stand, what they think of you. I hope to God they don't come closer with this mess. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will talk to you later. Bye.